first the top headlines Kukiyam youth start fresh conflict in new check on Internet ban extended for 5 more days in Manipur District administration shortens curfew relaxation to 1 p.m. for Imphalis and 2 p.m. for Imphal West. And no vulcanizations on ethnic lines RK Ranjan writes to Prime Minister. Hello, welcome to LTV's Prime Time English News Bulletin. I'm your host, Dimitra Hanjabam. Before giving you the news, we requested to follow the SOP given by the government to wear face masks on in public, wash hands regularly, and maintain a minimum of six feet between one person and another. LTV also requested to get vaccinated in time to protect ourselves from this virus and play a part in the fight against COVID 19. Now, the news in detail. The government of Manipur on Sunday extended the ban on internet ban for another five days till 3 p.m. of May 26, 2023 with immediate effect. Mention may be that the government of Manipur has banned internet services in the state of Manipur in the aftermath of the ethnic riot that erupted since May 3rd in Chiranpur district to prevent rumours that circulated through social media platforms. In an unexpected and unfortunate turn of event, a fresh conflict broke out in New Chekhon in Nepal's district at around 11 a.m. this morning. The violence broke out when armed Kuki youths entered a mighty dominated area. They threatened them at a gunpoint and commanded the people to close their shops. Tension is still high in the area. The police and rapid action force personnel have come in and are trying to bring the situation under control. In the incident, some of the media persons who went to cover the incident were beaten by central forces. They are Nongthumbam Johnson of Mami TV, Sauram Inauba of Mami TV and B. Dayananda Sarma of ANI. Johnson apparently sustained minor injuries as a result of the attack. <laughs>
In view of the fresh violence that broke out in New Chekhon this morning, the district administration has decided to shorten the curfew relaxation time from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. for Imphal East and 2 p.m. for Imphal West for today. Although conditions are returning to normalcy, some miscreants are creating problems every now and then, stated Security Advisor to the Government of Manipur. The police are responding quickly and are tackling the situation well and soon they will be able to get the situation under control. The curfew was relaxed for 11 hours from 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Jiribam, Bishnupur and Kakjing, 9 hours from 9, 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Nepal West and 8 hours from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Nepal East. Dead toll remains the same. Five bodies have, take, have been taken by relatives and last rites have been performed. All the dead bodies will be handed over to relatives so that they can have respectful last rites. Arms recovered have increased to 494 out of 1,070 arms looted. Confidence building is being carried out and relief camps are still running as usual, but the number of inmates are reducing day by day. Inmates in the camp to be transported to other districts are staying in district headquarters and they can leave when they feel comfortable to leave. The National Highway No. 37 is open and 1,159 truck lots have started moving from Judibam and they are on the way. Today in Moirang at 12.45 p.m., an abandoned workshop was burned by Ms. Korean. The police and army went to the spot and chased the Ms. Koreans. Seven persons detained in that case. At 12.25 p.m. at New Chekon, Ms. Korean with arms immediated the locals not to open the market and the shopkeepers had an argument with them. The situation was brought under control and the three persons with arms were arrested and are lodged in police locker. Some people set fire to an already burned house and with regards to this incident, there will be a red and maximum number of arrests will be met tonight, he stated. He updated and gave a narrative of the current situation in Manipur. that we are trying to put forces there, we are also trying, a lot of other efforts have been tried by the police and administration, in which whenever an incident takes place, not only law of action is taken, also the police and administration is reaching them, reaching the village heads and trying to talk to them together and jointly so that they take responsibility of their village. And if anyone is indulging this kind of activity, he should be stopped by them or be brought to police for counselling or for some other action. So this thing is also yielding result. But you see when this kind of situation happens, then miscreants finding the situation favourable to them take advantage at times. And all those areas where generally police is not present, or the village chiefs may not have had got time to hold meetings and all in their village. Sometimes they think that those kind of activities slowly and slowly they are reaching it out. As you know, Torbo Bangla and all those areas used to be quite hot in initial sometimes. But now because of these efforts, those areas have come to a certain uh, understanding and slowly and slowly not very many incidents have been reported. Sir, sir. Like Shura Chantur, the last two days, there is no report of any battle or taking law into their own hands. So slowly and slowly people are coming to terms and because of the reach of the administration and police, they are cooperating. Results of Class 2 examinations conducted by Council of Higher Secondary Education, Manipur, have been declared today. Out of a total of 36,717 students, 36,212 students have passed. Pass percentage of the total number of students that appeared in the examination is 88.68%. For science streams, 24,304 students appeared for the exam, of which 21,996 passed, marking the pass percentage is 90.50 percent for art streams 11105 students appeared for the exams of which 9439 students passed making the pass percentage 85 percent for commerce stream 803 students appeared for the examination of which 676 students passed making 
making the pass percentage 84.18%. The topper with first position obtained for science stream is Ria Thokchom, roll number 20914 of Heritage Convent, second position by Kelina Chungkham of Laura Krabi Kaisham Thong Elangbom Lekai, roll number 16432 of Comet School, and third position was obtained by Lin Ko Lai Sem Pot roll number 38275 of Extra Age School. For Art Stream, first position holder is Puspa Naurem of Naurem Lekai Awang, roll number 10891 of TG Higher Secondary School. Second position holder is Chungkham Damayent of Sagolban Tera Amudon Kham Lekai, roll number 3432 of Enlightened Knowledge Higher Secondary. And third position holder is Tulsi Priya Thokpam, roll number 11006 from Samuro Wang Lekai of TJ Higher Secondary School. For Commerce Stream, first position holder is Raj Brinder Naurem of Tentha Kongpal. Kongbal roll number 40773 of TG Higher Secondary School. Second position holder is Einstein Ningombam, roll number 40649 from Thawal Okram of Sijam Higher Secondary School. And third position holder is Waribam Devraj Singh from Awang Sekmai Laipad, roll number 40642 of Sangai Higher Secondary School. Education Minister T. H. Bashantu Kumar and Commissioner Gyan Prakras and Chairman of Council were present at the result declaration. An appeal has been made to the Chief Secretaries of Universities outside Manipur to extend their online registration in view of the current rest of situation in Manipur for those students who are aspiring to study outside, stated Education as Commissioner Gyan Prakas. Minister T. H. Basantu Kumar stated that the results of students of government schools for this year are encouraging. This is a positive result for the Chief Minister's school faculty mission. World Mate Council organized a meeting of all CSOs as Rajabari Manipur Basti Guwahati on Sunday to discuss the prevailing rest of situation in Manipur. In a release, the WMC informed that the meeting made several observations and adopted various resolutions, including the, to urge the government of India for constitutional protections of Maites are enshrined in ST province and implement NRC in Manipur at the earliest, protect indigenous people against atrocities committed by the immigrants in Manipur and resolve conflict between Maitai and immigrant Chinkuki people. It all condemned the destructions of Maitai temples and the demand for separate administration by the Ten Koki MLA and said that Chief Minister of Mizoram should not interfere in the internal affairs of Manipur and that the current politicians of Manipur should stop playing politics over the current conflict of Manipur. WMC has, has urged the media houses not to portray the victims as perpetrators. Several CSO leaders from different organizations of Assam, including Ngangam Baldev, Yenko Mopendra, Kemamayum Dilip, and many others attended the meeting. National media, the media, the media, Perpetrator, me hand the bar, Kuntumaliba, perpetrator, Kunjai, and the city victim cards, and another. Matina Tobin and Hibado, Madugi, the Matanin, I see WM Sina, Nakawagi, Kanoda, Santa Mantarta, Odegi, Delhi, Press Club of India, Kuna, Maduna, Muna, Lana, Lana, Powder Pouch, and do it all, neutralize on one of the company. ปัญญาอำนาจที่ตั้งค่ายอำนาจในรัฐสภาของรัฐคณะมนตรีมาดูมาดูดานีอะไรมาดูมาดูดานีอะไรมาดูมาดูดานีอะไรมาดูมาด
Though the government of Manipur claiming normalcy returned in Valley in an unfortunate incident, suspected armed militants have shot three villagers of Moidang Pok last night. The incident took place around 11.30 p.m. The three villagers shot by the suspected Kuki militants have been identified as Thangjong Deepak, KH Kiran and Y Nauton. They are from Moidang Pok, Awang Lekai and Makalekai. They got bullet injuries on hand, leg and stomach. Talking to media persons, Nauton who got bullet injury in hand narrated about the incident in detail. Mm -hmm. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh, the Minister of State for External Affairs and Education, has written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi about the threat of organizations on ethnic lines in Manipur. The BJP MP, whose Lok Sabha constituency is in our Manipur, asked the Prime Minister to curb and control with a strong hand any attempt at breaking up the North East state where 35 ethnic groups leave. Over 70 people have died since May 3rd in clashes between the Maitais, who live in and around the state capital in Fal Valley, and the Kuki tribe, who are settled in the hills over the valley residents demand for the inclusions in the settled tribe as the category. This is a very dangerous proposition for a tiny state having 35 ethnic groups. Peaceful coexistence should be the norm. Naga Kuki conflict, Maite Pangan Muslim clash, and now Maite Kuki riot must be treated as aberrations. This should be crab and controlled by a strong hand. Noble organizations on ethnic lines should be encouraged at any cost, the Minister of State for External Affairs said in the later. The Union Minister in the later said that the clash between the two communities was triggered by a peaceful rally that suddenly turned violent and unfortunately, activists are giving it a communal colour. A few activists are trying to bring in the religious angle that Maitis are mostly Hindus and Kuki are Christians. They try to blame the people who are radicalised in the name of the religion and culture. If some street minds are trying to create a political demarcation through such heinous crime, such plans should never be made successful. They can't can bluff the union government by putting up a game planned. Sacrificing innocent human lives to achieve a political agenda is unwanted and undesirable. To work out a peaceful coexistence must be the solution. Dismemberment will never be a solution, the union minister said. Mr. Singh urged Prime Minister Narendra Modi to work towards removing the mechanical divisions in Manipur met wider by religious affiliations. We are not to blame any community or ethnic group. The harmonious relations among ethnic groups are often violated by leaders forgetting their political ends. Myopic politicians often play with the lives and emotions of the common people. They have done enough damage to society. The tactics trigger unimaginable losses, for instance, the present ethnic inferno. Such local leaders must be identified and condemned, Mr. Singh said. Mr. Singh urged Prime Minister Modi to work towards removing the mechanical divisions in Manipur, made wider by religious affiliations, tensions over the evictions of Kuki villagers and alleged illegal immigrants from region of unprotected forests, and the destruction of poppy fields preceded the violence that broke out on May 3rd. The scale of poppy cultivation in Manipur has also spread across 15,400 acres of land in the hills between 2027 and 2023. According to data from the state's Special Anti-Drugs Unit Narcotics and Affairs of Border NAB.
as person were cast on role of central forces in securing the life of governors and in restoring peace in the strife torn state after a team of some rifles on a Sunday briefly impounded licensed guns of Thai and Pope residents who are guarding themselves for constant attacks from the armed cookie militants. Decrying the seizures and terming it as an act to make the innocent villagers soft targets for the cookie militants, locals demanded explanation from Assam Rifles why they have confiscating license arms from the public without controlling the armed cookie militants. Following the detention, local leaders had a talk with CRPF officials on Sunday morning during which air personnel also stationed that they asked the, asked the villagers not to carry licensed guns openly. After the meeting, ER personnel visited the relief camp set up in the village and on the pretext of the inquiry, the well-being of the inmates around 10.30 am, but, carried, but carried out intensive searches. They seized a licensed gun and started questioning the civilians there if they were criminals. Following a state educator meeting of the Mijoram BJP, the party concluded that the demand for a separate administration met by 10 Cook MLAs in violence hit Manipur is reasonable. We find the demand of the 10 MLAs for a separate administration reasonable considering their lives are at risk in Manipur's, a resolution adopted by party officials on Thursday said. The party further condemned their atrocities allegedly committed towards Jew descendants during the ethnic classes in Manipur. We strongly condemn the Manipur government and those responsible for these acts. We empathize with those who have suffered due to violence and demand that the Manipur government compensate those who have lost their homes, church and properties as per the laws. The BJP state unit said, speaking to East Mojo BJP Mizoram President Valal Mokna said, they are not safe under the present government. The state government needs to take swift actions to ensure their safety. We find the demand for separate administration quite reasonable. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday was conferred the highest honour of Fiji, companion of the Order of Fiji by its PM Siti Veni Rabuka. Prime Minister Modi was awarded with the honour in recognition of his global leadership, with reports stated that only a handful of non Fijians have received this honour till date. Nagaland Minister and a BJP leader Temjang Imna Long said that he is sure that the BJP will again come to power in 2024 Lok Sabha elections and added that the policies of Congress won't have much impact. If Congress is thinking that they will win 2024 polls just because they won in Karnataka, then that's not the truth, he added. And now let's take a short break. Stay tuned for more updates. Babina Diagnostics Manipur da ihan hanba oina ing sok lising amaga chama pal marifu hum doida linkhat ki masina awang nong pok bharat da yamna pak chaungna miyoi bagi ana laying da darkar lakpa makhal kaya gi changing sing pangtho i mayam dugi marakta amatang pallabada radiological investigation su mai pakna pangthokli wana hona jaba miyoi bagi sebani khana angam bathak ta laibak thiraba ana ayek nanglaba kaya gi mating pangjaba si sakhang biduna awang nongpok ta ihan hanba oina nabl gi accreditation pibiraki miyam gi potha pham ngaina pham testo pham report law pham gi awaba du kokhanduna chang pham hang pham potha pham gari parking cafeteria yauna marang kaina leizaraba unit ama oina miyam gi seba tawjeri Unit Asida Thamjariba Matamgi Darkar Oirakpa Equipment Singhdi 1.5 Tesla MRI, 128-slice CT Scanner, Mammography, Texas Scanner, Digital X-ray, Luinana, Hematology, Clinical Chemistry, Amadi, Clinical Pathology, Immunology, Microbiology, Molecular Biology, Amasung, Immunohistochemistry Studies Ki, Masing Yamlaba Automated Analyzers. Welcome you all to UNACO School Channel in Far East, an exclusive co-educational residential school located on a sprawling 50 acres campus just 24 kilometers away from Imphal City. The school will be affiliated to CBSE New Delhi. Academic session will begin on 1st April 2023 for classes 4 to 8. Registration come at Mason Open for 2023 and 24 session. 
Welcome back again. You're watching Little TV's Prime Time English News Bulletin. Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav criticized former Railway Ministers Lalu Yadav, Nitish Kumar and Mamta Banerjee saying that they use railways as milking cows. Talking about the future prospects of Bande Bharat Express train, he said that the government is planning to launch a sleeper version of the train for distances of more than 500 km by March 2024. Italy's Mount Itna, the most active volcano in Europe, began erupting on Sunday morning, spewing ash on Satania, Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, NIINGV, said. A video has also surfaced online showing clouds of ash being from Mount Itna. The eruptions of 10,900 feet high volcano forced Satania Airport to shut down and suspend flights. Cameron Green helps Mumbai chase down 200 plus total for the fourth time this season as they enter playoffs. MI found themselves back into the corner as far as the playoffs entry went, with RCB having a superior net run rate and needing a win against Gujarat Titans later in the day. After being put into the bat first, SRH Manyak Agarwal and Vivran Singh, Vivran Sharma led the way with the 140-run opening partnership. MI's Akash Madwal put a stop to run flow, claiming four wickets in a quick time and restricting the oppositions to 205. Needing 201 to win, Rohit Sharma and Cameron Green kept the team's board afloat after losing Ishan Kishan early. Green especially was on song with the bad striking regular boundaries. He eventually ended with a well-constructed... 100 of 47 balls comprising 8 fours and 8 sixes as MI race home with 2 overs to spare. They will face LSG in Eliminator on coming Wednesday. Manchester City celebrated their Premier League title success on a Sunday beating Chelsea 1-0 with an early goal by Julian Alvarez in the team's home finale at the Sundance Etihad Stadium. They had 88 points from 36 matches, 7 from the Arsenal, who have just one match remaining. Frank Lampard's struggling Chelsea side are languishing in 12th sport with 43 points. Alvarez's winner Mad City had scored 100 goals of the Etihad this season, equaling the record which they set in 2018-19 for most home goals scored in all competitions in a single season by an English top flight club. City were crowded champions for the third season in a row and a fifth in six years a day earlier than expected when Arsenal's 1-0 defeat of Forest Dows and the remaining hope the Londoners had of catching them. For the TV News Channel, contact the email address info at alitv.in or 9402890982 and subscribe to Alitv YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter for more information about the channel. And now let's take a look at the headlines once again. Kukiyam Youth Start Fresh Conflict in New Chekon. Internet ban extended for five more days in Manipur. <music> District administration shortens coffee relaxation to 1 p.m. for Imphal East and 2 p.m. for Imphal West. And no balkanizations on ethnic lines are Kiranjan rights to Prime Minister. And that's a wrap for today. For more updates, keep watching Little TV English News. Thank you and have a great evening.